Wet Paint, a local art supply store located on Grand Avenue, draws all types of artists, professionals, beginners, and students with its extensive stock of over 30,000 different products. They span the entire range of art supplies, including paints, brushes, pads, drawing materials, canvas, and decorative paper, as well as many books on art. We're here today to take a closer look at Wet Paint's more unique products. First, we asked the owner about the extremely popular Stabilo 88 patents. What paint is the only supplier of these in the United States? Hi, I'm Beth Bergman. I own Wet Paint on Grand Avenue in St. Paul, and I'm going to show you one of, the, one of the pens that's the hot pen. It seems to be everywhere in the world except the United States, and we need to tell you young people about this pen. It's made by Schwann Stabilo in Germany. It's the point .88 and the point .68. They come in a wide variety of colors with a great fine point for sketching, for drawing, for writing, for journaling, for letter writing, and uh, you can express yourself in the color of your 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 dreams and your um, uh, well, your innermost creative thoughts. And we've got them individually, or we've got them in sets, and we've got short ones and long ones and fine ones and extra fine. So. We need you to spread the word that they're here in the United States, too. This is the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. Um, it's probably the most popular thing that we sell in the store. Um, it, it works like a brush, and but it, it's made like a pen. So it's got the ink cartridge in it, it's refillable, and it you can do really expressive works. You can do calligraphy, you can sketch with it. Um, we are the only place in America where you can find these. You can find them in Japan, um, on the internet sometimes, and in Canada. But um, we sell about one a day here in the store. People come looking for them. Um, my favorite thing to sketch with. I don't really know what else to say about it, but it's pretty <laughs> awesome. Are there other colors? Or is it just no, it black? just comes in black. And it's refillable. Um, the pens themselves cost about, you know, $20. And, Right. And, and they last forever. Like the tip stays really sharp for a long time. You can get really, um, really fine lines with it. And you can also get really broad strokes. Oh, cool. So that's cool. Really the Mall Bridge takes a classic drawing tool and kind of spits it up a little bit. People, if they're painting very straight lines, very precise, delicate sorts of things, want to have something to rest their hand on when they're painting. This does exactly that, but it takes it a little step further and it lets you hold implements inside of the bridge itself. So, if I wanted to draw a straight line, I can put my triangle or ruler or whatever into the mall bridge, lock it in, and then I can just rest my tool right against it. This is, you know, with a piece of paper, it's easy enough to set this down on the surface, but if you're working on a pastel and you don't want to smudge it, or if you've got a wet painting, and you, this will sit right above it. They also make clamps that you can attach it to a canvas, so you can do the same thing, and then move it around on the canvas, too. Cool. And this product is made by a gentleman in California that paints boats. He's a ship painter. And he wanted something that would do exactly this, that would allow him to paint the rigging on his boat. There wasn't something on the market, so he invented it himself. And here it is. Great. Wet paint carries over 3,500 different kinds of paper. That amounts to some 50,000 individual sheets of paper. These are some of the fun ones, the Japanese ones that we get imported. These are a hand silk screen to paper. 
right call after receipt, and then we'll just swap them. And we have folders and folders of them. Kind of fun. Very rich, a lacquered print, dragonflies. Cool. Wow. You would just want to frame it and put it on your wall. Right. <laughs> For Valentine's Day. So they're not all from Japan, yeah. but the really fun ones, a lot of them are. Are you all good? Or are you still working? Oh, no hurry. That's for sure. This is fun. Fun. It's like when I go into the, um, the bite, the green side, so it's like, it's a piece of it. I also carry the Print Goko, which is a Japanese little screen printing device. Um, it's super swanky. We just got uh, the PG5, which is the newest model, uh, and I'll show you how it works over, over at the counter. But um, it's very popular for making cards, uh, patches, stationery, that sort of thing. Got lots of inks, other stuff. But let me show you how it works. A patch or whatever. And we want to do this little dinosaur guy. So, take our little PG-5, this is the machine here, and put our image on there, and a little blue screen, and then you have your already pre-treated screens for screen printing, pop them in like so, takes these lamps. They're like old-fashioned flash bulbs. <laughs> Apparently in California they may cause cancers. So. Everything yeah, what doesn't these days though, right? <laughs> so they just pop in there. So I'm going to put this underneath just so it doesn't register anything else. So we'll say that's how I wanted it. If it was something more elaborate, I could go into more detail. But this little thing fits in here and then watch out there's going to be a bright flash okay so these are going to be a little smelly and, and hot so we'll put them over there and now my image is stuck to the screen so pull this off there it is and then i can put some ink on there This works on paper, cardboard, whatever. They also make cloth ink, so if you wanted to do t-shirts or whatever, do that. The ink on there. I'm going to pull this off and get the blue filter out of the way. I swear it's cool once I get going. <laughs> <laughs> so now we can print. And this works as your little printing press too. So, so. Oh, cool. Yeah, so. And we can just go to town. Printing. Oh.